I, I want to tell you about plans a developer has to build 300 houses in this field behind me in Bonnie Rig. It's a rough video overview while I'm walking my dog. In this video I want to show you some of their plans and how it matches to the actual land and then the next steps for us as residents. So here's the plan. They want to build 300 houses in this field. Just to help you get your bearings, this is the railway path. That's Tesco up there. That's the community hospital. That's Sincere Park, Waverley Pavilion, up to the high street and the toll over there. That's um, Gladstone's Gate and Baird's Way. Here it is on the map. So that's Tesco. That's the big roundabout. That's the old Mayshade. This is the cycle path. Um, Waverley Pavilion, the park, and this is the field they want to build on. Uh, Gladstone's Gate, Baird's Way. The Lothian Council have given permission to build on that bit of land in their local development plan. It's just about to be approved. So the developers are jumping in to get their planning application and the consultations done. Here's their concept plan. And here's what the Midlothian Council's development plan gives permission for. Permission for a main access of the road here with a crossroads and a little access from the side to a little bit of the development. This is what Walker Homes want to do. They want to build 300 houses on this patch here. They want to put tree line there. They want access through the existing development here, main access through um, Gladstone's Gate and Baird's Way as a loop round there. They want a second part of the development to come off the main road here, um, the distributor road. So it's two developments, one with like 30 houses and that one with like 260 houses. Give you a quick overview of what they explained as the main points to us in the community council meeting three weeks ago. That's like a suds pond for overflow water. That's the burn, green area around about it. That's the access of the main road, and this is probably internal road. Access through Baird's Way and Gladstone's Gate. These are the roads. Potential play area, grassy area, grassy area, tree lines along here, access onto the railway path and then they leave this area green. They can't build underneath the pylons here. These pylons kind of make a natural stop to the development um, because of building regs, they can't build underneath it. So this is what it looks like in real life. Main access from here and down there, Baird's Way. And then um, another access from down there off the main road into that section. They'll see that pylon along there and that line, that will be the outer line of the development. This is it from a different angle looking straight down the pylon. So the development will be from here over to the houses there. That's the community hospital behind us and the path down to the bridge to Tesco and the roundabout there. The development's going to be from these pylons over to the houses and we'd like them to designate this area here as a community woodland and dog walking space with allotments. We're down now at the bottom of the site, nearer Baird's Way and the burn. Walker Homes came to the Community Council three weeks ago to tell us that they're starting this consultation. Two weeks ago, Bonnie Rigg and Last Week Community Council thought we'd get together and get in there quick with some uh, responses, initial quick responses on your behalf to get the conversation going. The Walker Homes are going to have an exhibition in a week's time where they're going to show the public their proposed plans and want to get your input on it. They've sent some letters to Baird's Way, some of the Baird's Way and Gladstone Gate re residents. The exhibition is at the Last Wade Centre next Thursday, I think it's the 21st, from 12 till 8 p.m. And then we're going to have a community council meeting from 7 till 8 for you all to discuss it for an hour and see what people think, what your feedback is.
Bonnig and Ras Wade Community Council is kind of like a, a residence association for this part of the town. The goal is to stay informed and to try and influence the decision makers. We objected because to Midlothian Council during the Midlothian Development Plan that this was too quick and we should wait 10 years before until the facilities have caught up because of the big developments in Hopefield, Burnbray. It's going to increase the population of Bonnyrigg by 4%. It's Midlothian Council's and Midlothian Councillors' jobs to stand up for us and protect our interests, so we've tried to influence them. Unfortunately, they didn't respond to the plans and just pass them anyway, they're just about to be passed. So what we've decided to do is make the best of this instead of objecting to the whole plan per se, we want to make sure the plan is the best for the local residents, the neighbours and the people who are going to move into it in the future. So we put together a few of things that we thought you might be um, interested in and wanted to happen in this development. We wrote an initial letter to Walker Homes to get things rolling. These are some of the main points we came up with and we want to know whether you agree or not. We want access from the whole site via a new bridge from the distributor road according to the Midlothian development plan. What that means is instead of getting access through this development here, this estate here, that they come across from the main road there, you know that road that goes from the cemetery down to the new railway bridge down there, and build the bridge across here into the whole site like Midlothian Council anticipated in their plan. Obviously that's going to cost money, but we think it's the money that needs to be paid to get access to the site rather than going through development. We want to know whether you agree with this or not. Walker Homes are saying that they want to preserve some of the natural life across here and a bridge across there will get in the way of it, but uh, we're not convinced by that. We think a bridge across this will still preserve the natural life underneath. And with that, we want them to do a traffic impact analysis to assess congestion and emissions, especially on Baird's Way and Gladstone Gate. We also thought it would be good to have some meeting space. You know, we thought uh, extending Waverley Pavilion so parents and community groups have an extra space to meet up. If the town's going to increase by 4%, then we need more community spaces. And in addition to the playground, we thought we need more green spaces for dog walking provision around here where they're not going to build like a dog park and with allotments and community growing spaces like community woodland and a wildlife corridor along here so it's preserved for the future so we've got some actual amenity spaces to walk around in. And then shopping, obviously you can't have a, a shop inside of this, it's a little bit too small, but we thought walking to Tesco's and Aldi um, should be helped. This pedestrian bit along here is a bit awkward out over the bridge, we thought they should develop that up so it's easy for mothers and so on and fathers and children to get to Tesco's and the shops by walking. And that pedestrian and cycle access should be prioritised in the design. One of the, big, one of the big things we thought was the communal maintenance of all the grounds should be transferred to Midlothian Council including litter bins and dog fouling bins because the provision in Hopefield with factors is really troublesome. And then for the quality of life of the houses and the people in there that the build quality is high, that it meets the building for life 12 criteria so that there's a balance of housing styles so they're small enough for disabled and elderly to be part of the people living here rather than lots of big three and four bedroom houses and that there's energy efficient, they're energy efficient and zero carbon, meet zero carbon standards with smart meters so that it can in the future get renewable energy if they want them and super fast broadband so it's not like Hopefield where they don't even have proper broadband and the affordable housing to have an impact on the waiting list for social housing. There's a difference between affordable housing and social housing and we want to make sure that some of the social housing is helped by this housing. Now that's our list. We don't know if you agree or not. We thought we'd just kick it off with some, some ideas uh, so that we start off early in the consultation. It doesn't just um, 
take run away from us because Walker Homes really want to get their planning application in the moment Midlothian Local Development Plan is approved. They want to get their planning application in. This is a, a small window where we as residents can make a bit of an influence. Can't really influence the whole of the Midlothian development plan, but we can influence how this development is designed and some of the features of it to make it better for us as residents.